So you ever just riding your bike along and this happens? <laughs> now I think that we can all agree that bike riding is both a great form of exercise and it's a great way to get errands done if you don't have a car. Now I love riding my bike around because I can get both a good cardio workout in and I get my grocery shop done at the same time. Yay, multitasking! One year for my birthday, my parents surprised me and got me a bike and I was so excited to use it. I used to ride that bike to my job, rode to my friend's house, I would ride that bike anywhere. Now according to the title, this video isn't about the times I enjoyed with that bike. It's about... Me eating shit. Yeah, I have quite a few stories of me taking dives off my bike, so... Let's get into it. One time my stepdad and I were watching my little siblings while they were playing outside and I thought, Yeah, I'll take my bike out too. One thing that I thought that was pretty cool about my bike was that it had gears on it, so I was really interested in seeing how fast I could go. But I ended up changing gears while pedaling, and then this happened. The chain came off the gear. I immediately knew something was wrong, and then I just flew off my bike. And I slowly descended my way to the pavement. What the fuck? Yeah, I face planted pretty hard. My stepdad stood there and he was like, Oh my god, there is now an imprint of his face in that ground. And then I just jumped back up and I was like, I'm good! Now you see, when I was a kid, I was very resilient. I would fall from tall heights and just get back up like nothing ever happened. And if anybody ever saw me, they would just be like, Oh my god, are you okay? Can I call an ambulance? And I would be like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, just give me a second. And then I would just go back doing whatever it was I was doing before because I was a stupid kid and I never learned my lesson. When I was living in New Jersey, I used to ride my bike to my friend's house. And whenever I rode there, there would be this downhill slope that would take you straight into town. And after pedaling for the majority of the trip, that would be the relieving part because I would just enjoy the ride. There's one time I was on my way to my friend's house and I did end up reaching that hill and I began to start riding down it. I was enjoying the ride. It was so peaceful. I was in complete zen mode. During that relaxing ride, my bike ended up going off the curb and on the street. So I tried to ride as close to the curb as possible. But while doing that, my bike ended up clipping the curb and all hell broke loose from that point. I literally did a front flip onto my back and just laid there defeatedly. This one guy pulled over thinking he just witnessed the death of a stupid teenager, but once again, I just shot right back up and was like, I'm good. Now you're probably thinking, why didn't you just stop the bike and go back onto the curb? That way you also won't get hit by an oncoming vehicle. Are you kidding me? I was picking up so much speed. I wasn't about to stop. Okay, real shit. I was actually trying to beat my personal record of getting to my friend's house within less than 25 minutes, and I still totally beat it even though I wiped out. Okay, back to the story. So my final story is kind of a creepy story. It takes place a couple years ago when I was still living in Barstow, California, aka worst goddamn place on earth. I was riding my bike home from my job one time, and keep in mind, it's 2 a.m. in the desert. One of the biggest crime places in California. And apparently the roads I was riding my bike home from were haunted, so that was just another thing to worry about. You know, nothing like getting possessed by a demon at 2 in the morning in Victorville, California, or getting sacrificed by a local California KKK. You know, just another day in Victorville. So I was riding my bike down this road that I called the Slenderman Road, only because it was dark as hell, I couldn't see shit, and at any point I expected Slenderman to just jump out of nowhere and abduct me. So one night, I was riding my bike down old Slenderman Road, and I had a little light on my bike so I could see the way. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, my light just turns off. So in a panic, I just start messing with my light until it turns back on. Eventually it does turn on, and all of a sudden, right in front of me, about 10 feet away, this guy just comes out of nowhere. In a state of shock, I just turned hard and I fell off my bike. I looked at the man, and he just never once looked away. I asked him if he was okay, even though I was the one that fell off the bike, and he just kept walking. He never once looked at me, he never once looked away. He just kept looking in the direction that he was walking, and he never once stopped. I just got back on my bike and got the hell out of there. Barso's a weird place. Okay, well, those are my bike fails. I hope you enjoyed them. And if you did, leave a like and subscribe for more content. And you can always follow me on Instagram as well for more updates. I will be back soon with another Storytime video, and I can't wait to see you there. Peace.